Female circumcision, which is also known as female genital mutilation, is a controversial practice that has been prevalent in Egypt and many other countries in Africa and the Middle East for centuries. Although the exact origin of female circumcision is unknown, it is believed to have originated in pre-Islamic times in the Nile Valley and spread to other parts of the world. Despite the fact that female circumcision has been banned in Egypt since 2008, it is still widely practiced in many parts of the country, especially in rural areas and among certain groups of people. The practice is deeply rooted in culture and tradition, and its significance varies from region to region and from community to community. There are several reasons why female circumcision is practiced in Egypt. One of the most common reasons is religious and cultural beliefs. Many people in Egypt believe that female circumcision is a religious obligation and is essential for a woman's purity and chastity. According to some interpretations of Islamic law, female circumcision is necessary to ensure a woman's modesty and to promote cleanliness. Another reason why female circumcision is practiced in Egypt is social and economic. Women who are not circumcised are often stigmatized and considered impure, which reduces their chances of getting married. In some communities, female circumcision is seen as a rite of passage to womanhood, and uncircumcised women are not considered as adults. There are several types of female circumcision, ranging from a simple clitoridectomy to a more extreme form known as infibulation. Infibulation involves the removal of the clitoris, labia minora, and part of the labia majora, and the remaining skin is stitched together, leaving only a small opening for urine and menstrual blood. The physical and psychological effects of female circumcision are severe and long-lasting. The procedure is painful and traumatic and can lead to severe health complications. Women who have undergone female circumcision are at an increased risk of infections, chronic pain, and urinary tract problems. They also experience psychological trauma and may suffer from depression and anxiety. The consequences of female circumcision are not limited to physical and psychological health. The practice also perpetuates gender inequality and discrimination. Female circumcision denies women of their basic human rights and contributes to their marginalization and powerlessness in society. Efforts to combat female circumcision in Egypt have been ongoing for decades, but the practice continues to persist. The Egyptian government has taken several measures to outlaw the practice, including passing laws that criminalize the practice and imposing penalties on those who perform the procedure. Despite these efforts, many Egyptians still view female circumcision as a necessary practice, and some continue to perform it illegally. The fight against female circumcision in Egypt requires a multifaceted approach that involves education, advocacy, and legal action. Education is essential to raise awareness about the dangers of female circumcision and to address the misconceptions and cultural beliefs that contribute to its persistence. Advocacy is necessary to mobilize communities and to promote positive cultural change. Legal action is crucial to enforce the laws that criminalize the practice and to punish those who perform the procedure. So, dear friends, female circumcision is a controversial and harmful practice that is prevalent in Egypt and many other countries in Africa and the Middle East. The reasons for the practice are complex, ranging from religious and cultural beliefs to social and economic factors. The physical and psychological consequences of female circumcision are severe and long-lasting, and the practice perpetuates gender inequality and discrimination. The efforts to combat female circumcision in Egypt require a multifaceted approach that involves education, advocacy, and legal action. By working together, we can end this harmful and outdated practice and promote the health, safety, and well-being of women everywhere. Thank you for watching this important video about the practice of female circumcision in Egypt. We hope that you have gained new insight and knowledge about this issue and the harm it inflicts on women and girls. We believe it is crucial to continue raising awareness, advocating for change, and supporting the efforts of activists and organizations working to end female circumcision. We urge you to share this video with others to help spread awareness about this issue 
and to subscribe to our channel for more informative and engaging content about wildlife conservation and other important issues. By subscribing to our channel, you can help support our mission to raise awareness and promote positive change for both people and animals around the world. Thank you again for watching, and we look forward to sharing more content with you in the near future.